Okay, a great sports shot. It's kind of like a cake or a pyramid. The kit, the lenses, and the bodies are that foundation. If you don't have that foundation, you're not even in the game. You're not even gonna have a chance to get those images. And the next part is that the action, what you're recording is the best part of that action, the high point or the human interest or the emotion. My main cameras are the D5s. It's that familiarity that I like and the fact that it does what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. Many of our events are outdoors and you don't know what the weather's gonna be like. This weekend we're shooting beach volleyball, so it's dusty, it's dirty. You know, you have enough things going on when you shoot something that you don't wanna to have to worry about whether your equipment is going to work at the same time. The D5 provides a file that's flawless to me. I know that the color is going to be correct. I know the contrast is going to be excellent. I know that it's going to be sharp. The cool part about shooting sports is the action and the color. But if it's flat, it's not going to look right. To me, backgrounds are very, very important. Whether the background is people or sky or black tarp. And then I have to get the right lens combination that will fit that particular image. Sometimes it's a 70 to 200, sometimes it's my 200 to 500, sometimes it's my 24 to 70. To have those Nikkor lenses that provide that range, I'm confident I'm going to get those pictures. The Nikon D5 has been such a great body, a workhorse for me. And now a D6 is coming out, I can't wait.